When it comes to making a perimeter lock build this year, you have to think a little different. There's new badges, you will have to put in different sections. So as you're not usually having playmaking in your build, sometimes when you make this perimeter lock build, you might want to put it in your build this year. It's only up to you, but today I will be showing you guys four different perimeter lock builds in NBA 2K22. As you all know, we have the pie chart of half and half, green and red, that's the actual OG perimeter lockdown pie chart from 2K20, and then we have the new one from last year in 2K21, the more red and then a slight green. But if you wanna be an elite defender and have a higher three-point shooting rating, even though you can shoot with a 73-pointer or a 66 three-pointer, it's just based on your skill. So if you can time it right, you'll be able to hit that shot. So if you, this, this might not be the build for you if you wanna do more and just dunk the ball, but if you're somebody that's gonna be literally playing defense and shooting the ball in the corner, the wing, this will be the build for you. As of this first build, the build that we're gonna be using is the perimeter lock build but the pie chart is going to be more red, less green. So this is being build number one of this pie chart. Pay attention to how closely it's going to be modified once I show you build two. But as of being this pie chart, you're going to get 17 badges. I think the total you can get is maybe 18 or 19 with this pie chart exactly. But when it comes down to the defense, you want to max everything down in the defense category. You will get 24 badges. And then right here, this is going to be the point where it's going to decide which one are you going to choose. As I max out the finishing for both, as I'm getting right here, this is what it will really look like if I end up using it as a 117, 1 and 24. But if I take away the lip on this build and max out the pass accuracy and ball control, you will have six playmaking badges. And you might ask, why do I need six playmaking badges? I am a lockdown. I would rather have my layup. But look, as you having these six playmaking badges, these are very key six playmaking badges. As of the six badge count, you will need glued hands. You will also need bullet passer. You can have both of those on silver or gold. As you already have that, then you're gonna maybe need bailout based on who you are. If even if you don't wanna use it, it's up to you. But when we get into this second build, this build right here is gonna mainly focus on attributes, not the badge count. It's gonna be focused on the actual attributes. In the last build, we didn't have any driving layup, but we did have packs, accuracy, and ball control. But we did that to get a certain badge count. But on this build, we're gonna end up doing it to be able to have an all around build and make it way better. As this is being 117, 1 and 24, but by you lowering the shooting category, lower your post fade, you'll end up having 15 shooting badges. And you might ask, why would I lower it? You're lowering it so you can get at least three playmaking badges. So if you want the playmaking, you can make it like this or you can make it like the first one. But if you want me to be honest, I would prefer this one, to be honest. Because if you do take it to the hole and you don't get that dunk animation, and you get somewhat of a slight contest, you're gonna miss that. You're definitely gonna miss that. So I would choose this one, especially with this pie chart that we're using with the more red, less green. But when it comes to lockdowns this year, most people, they end up making it 6-5 last year, but the new normal meta is gonna be is maybe 6-3 locks or 6-4 locks, especially with 6-1, six, 6-2 six, guards being the wave right now. As of me making this build 6-4, the weight I'm gonna go with this is maybe around a 180, 181 range, but you can still get the 92 speed and you got a 90, 90 acceleration. That's not really gonna matter because you're not gonna be dribbling the ball. It's only gonna help when you get the ball you run. But when it comes to the wingspan, if you're going max wingspan, I prefer you to put lock badge on this. Put lock badge, don't put playmaking. Put lock badge on this build. But with that concluding the first pie chart that I'm gonna show y'all boys, we get the name perimeter lockdown. But when I show you these next two builds with somewhat a similar pie chart, it's gonna actually surprise you. Even having Hall of Fame shooting on build three that I'm about to show you, it's gonna surprise you that you're gonna have the ability to get playmaking badges on this build as well, but you won't have to sacrifice as much as we had to do with the one with more defensive and less shooting. So as I'm going with the 50-50 pie chart, red, green, this is where we're gonna end up seeing, you will get less speed on this build because it's a slower build, it's less defense compared to what we just used. So as we're gonna end up using the speed pie chart, that'd be the best thing to use out of all of them, hands down. You're gonna end up messing with the king category. The main category is just straight defense. Defense is the main category. So you're gonna max everything out in defense, no matter what, I don't care if you wanna knock three down unless you have to do it to get a play bacon badge or try to get your finishing up that would be the only reason i'm going to do this so look as we got everything maxed out we get 22 
22 defensive badges and then when i'm going to max out everything and get 17 17 is the sweet spot as well like i told you we can get 20 on this build but we don't need 20. 17 to 15 is the sweet spot because all you do is catch and shoot well for my boys that's going to end up putting some slashing into this build and you know you're just catching and shooting then when you got the opportunity to take it to the hole and dunk the ball you now you got four finishing badges on the build now you got four of them things on your build and then you can throw out the pass accuracy and just be able to still rock out with that you could put it on shooting if you don't want no pass accuracy but i'm telling you pass accuracy is definitely going to be needed this year as of the first build with the 88 speed once you see an 88 speed compared to a 90 speed off the rip it is a slight big difference if i do go lowest weight on this build i will only have a 90 something speed compared to the last build i will have a 92 speed so from build number two of the green red half and half pie chart I'm going to end up not really focusing on the finishing. I'm going to work on the playmaking because as we have max playmaking for literally ball control and pass accuracy, I get 10 playmaking badges with 55 attributes left over. This is not looking so bad. 117, 10, and 22. We're going to end up making this build 6'4", just like the other ones. We're going to end up having the weight being literally 180, as that's somewhat the sweet spot because there's no point of you going lowest weight. You know, by you going lowest weight, you're still going to have a 90 speed. But that's why I put it at 180. A lot of people that's going to end up going lowest weight. So that's up to you if you want to go lowest weight or 180. It's only a few pound difference. It's not going to really make a drastic change, especially being on this lockdown build. So look, as the wingspan, you can go max wingspan or you can go down from one. The reason why I say go max wingspan you're a lockdown <laughs> you're a lockdown that's the main key of you having long arms max wingspan 85 you want to do that but look if you go shortest wingspan you will be able to have the chance to get sharp takeover if you go to 84.1 you can get sharp takeover if you just go to 85 you get lock takeover so if you want to have the ability to have sharp and lock takeover and choose between those two make your wingspan 84.1 but if you don't care and you know you're going to make for lock takes then go with the 85 but as you get the name two way past first point this is literally the same exact build of what we just made as being a perimeter lock just a whole different name all you have is literally hall of fame shooting hall of fame shooting you'll get better shooting abilities and the last bill getting better defensive abilities i would lean more to the first pie chart more red less green based on if you're a good player or not or you know you can be a skillful player and know when you can shoot with a lower three and you know you can get easy steals hey i will prefer that pie chart than this badges looking at it i got clamps i got menace i got intimidator pickpocket and pick dodger on hall of fame interceptor on silver and we still have two badge points left over it can go on chase down or it can go on ball stripper so all those two two badges that's left that's on your side you can choose it but other badges those badges i gave you with the hall of fame and the silver ones these are the badges i would usually use if i end up making this build i am noticing with the hall of fame perimeter lock build you literally don't get rim protector as i look at all those badges you did not get rim protector so that rim protector badge it did come in handy it did help when you did get a block it did boost your takeover because it is hard to get lock tape but as we're at the playmaking badges like i said bullet passer on hall of fame glued hands on silver you could put it on pluckable on or you could but glued hands on gold but also you could put it on silver and run bell out on bronze but look since both builds have similar shooting badge counts we're going to end up going limited spot up the sniper badge hot zone hunter green machine and then you can end up throwing a corner specialist and catch a shoot in there if you really want to and then you'll be left over one badge and it can be on clutch shooter or something but if you guys who don't want corner specialist and catch and shoot you can maybe put catch and shoot on silver match expert just in case a center do come jump out you at if you at the corner or somebody who's taller than you you can shoot over them somewhat you guys got any questions in the comment section let me know drop them comments down below about these builds i hope y'all pick out which ones would cater to you if you want to make a decision out of the four builds i gave you so make sure you drop a like if you're going to end up making this build and they did help you out figure out which one you're going to make i haven't yet make sure you subscribe click that bell hit all for you can know when the next time i post a video and you don't miss build videos like this and all bangers that's coming in 22 this year but it being your man shamama i hope y'all have a wonderful day and i'm out y'all Peace.